Good morning. Here is the Santa Ana Island and Southwest Florida update as of June 22nd, 2023. For the Lee County Board meeting that was held on June 20th, after the Captiva issue was delayed, the board took a lunch break and came back to finish going over the other agenda items. Nothing noteworthy, just normal business. Other pressing news for Lee County is a future bridge project. The Cape Coral Bridge replacement project will not only involve building a new bridge, but planners are deciding what changes will happen along a 2.1 mile stretch from McGregor Boulevard in Fort Myers to Del Prado Boulevard in Cape Coral. A project development study is considering two designs that will impact access to Calusa Yacht and Racquet Club and Magnolia Point, which also borders the approach to the bridge. The main decision crews are up against is where to put a U-turn for access into the riverfront communities. Both plans will remove the light into the Cal Calusa Yacht and Racquet Club. Option number one calls for a U-turn that juts out into the Kalahatchee Cal River, but for those who have a dock in Magnolia Point, the U-turn road will be right up against it. Option two will reconstruct the toll plaza, raise the road, and put a toll plaza underneath. The bridge itself will be rebuilt largely in the footprint of the existing bridge while maintaining four lanes of traffic at all times. The newer eastbound lanes will be modified to accommodate four-lane traffic. That will allow the demolition of the westbound span and reconstruction of the new westbound span. Then all four lanes will switch to use the new structure while the eastbound span is worked on. A spokesperson for Lee County said both options will stay within the DOT right-of-way. Construction is planned for 2026. If you are interested in sharing your thoughts on this project, you will have three weeks to submit a public comment at their website, which is capecoralbridgeproject.com. For Sanibel, the city has announced they will be having a community cookout on July 4th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Recreation Center. There will be free food, games, live music, access to the pool, and more activities. Remember, the City Council did vote to count cancel the fireworks and parade for this year, but luckily enough people came together to organize this smaller 4th of July celebration. And as always, Sanibel is a wel welcoming community you don't have to be a resident to attend. If you happen to be vacationing on the island at the time, you are welcome to attend this free event. Thanks for listening.